स्टडी आई क्यू आई एस अब तैयारी हुई अफोर्डेबल डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर सीरीज ऑन द एथिकल केस स्टडीज एज अ सीरीज ऑफ डिस्कशन दैट यू बीन टेकिंग अप सो टूडे वी आर हैविंग अ वेरी क्लासिकल केस स्टडी विच हैज बीन आस्ड इन द सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट and as a district magistrate what kind of ethical dilemmas that one has to face in his job all right so this is what is this particular case is all about and uh, this is not only just a case study so this can practically happens in anybody's life when you are working as a district magistrate as a district magistrate sometimes you'll have to do something which even if it has to violate the established rules and laws but probably that is ethically right to save the people to save the lives and this is exactly one such case study so this would be our case study number 14 in the series of discussion that you have been having so this is babu gunashekaran i am also the faculty for indian polity and governance and i also take up the ethical case studies probably in the future i'll also take up uh, the theoretical part of ethics as we'll proceed further in order to help the students preparing for the civil service examination all right i also secured an ias rank in civil service examination 2016 so with that let us briefly understand about this particular case study what this particular case very quickly i'll summarize this particular case and then we'll also try to solve this particular case now this is a case where it is saying that you are a district magistrate you are a district magistrate in a particular district and one of the remote villages in your district is affected by a landslide and then once you get this information you reach to this particular village as soon as possible and you also reach to that particular village with a team of officials you have doctors you have media personnel and the other officials uh, uh, who are required to take the immediate action and to provide the relief and rehabilitation on reaching this particular place a man come to you approaching you and he is crying and he is approaching you and he is saying that uh, his wife needs immediate medical attention and at the same time he is also informing his wife is pregnant and then she is losing a lot of blood and hence uh, she needs an immediate attention and then you consult the doctors the doctors are willing to help her but the doctors are saying who is part of your team the doctors are saying that she might require an immediate blood transfusion to save her life but you yourself a doctor so this case is also saying that you have graduated from aims and you are a district magistrate you know that to carry out blood transfusion uh, you will have to procure blood from the recognized blood banks because it might request some element of sterilization so that uh, the infected blood is not used for transfusion uh, so you are in a classical ethical dilemma the doctors are willing to help the doctors are saying that they can save the life there are chances and fortunately they also have some blood transfusion equipment along with them uh, but you are to decide whether to do that or not to do that if you don't do that probably there is a risk of losing the life not only of the women but also the child because it may take some time to take the women to the nearest hospital but if you do that you are violating the rules laws which is established under the law in our country so the biggest question is are you going to follow the rules and risk the life of the patient in this case the pregnant women or you are going to follow the rules and then again you are going to uh, risk the life of the patient or you are going to violate the rules to save the life of the women even if you violate the rules there is a risk of infection even let us assume that the doctors are successful now this is the basic ethical case and if you violate the rule then there can also be a bad precedent which is set by you among the other officials who are working with you so this is a classical case of ethical concern and ethical dilemma that you may have to face in carrying out your duties and responsibilities as a district magistrate now in fact the entire team of officers who came along with you they are all divided in this particular matter so now how are you going to react so what are the various directives that is given in this particular case is what we are going to understand so what are the directives that is given in the particular question so what are the various ethical issues involved in this case you will have to identify the ethical issues that is question number 1 question number 2 evaluate the options available to you being a district magistrate of the area 
So what are the various options? So what are the various steps you can take under such a circumstances? So this is basically what is asked in the question. So before we go to the question, if you can understand the entire subject matter, the central theme around which the question is revolving, it can be easy for you to answer. So let us try to understand as to what exactly is the central theme of this particular question. So one is related to the empathy and compassion towards the weaker sections. So of course, yes, they are in a remote area affected by a disaster. And hence, as a district magistrate who has to ensure their welfare, relief, rehabilitation, so you should have to be a little um, compassionate towards their needs. That's one thing. And then the second thing is the ethical concerns and dilemmas in the government. So as a government officer, you'll have to respect the rules, laws and regulations. But at the same time, you'll have to protect the life. That's also a duty. It is a duty to do that. So whether to violate the rule in order to protect our life, that's a basic ethical dilemma. In fact, the entire team is divided. So how are you going to react? That's the basic subject matter under which the entire case study is revolved. Now further, who are the various stakeholders in this case? The local people, of course, the affected people, yourself and your team members who are there to reach out to them and to help them and to do anything at your disposal to help and protect them. The pregnant woman and her husband, the child, and the government because it is a government responsibility to protect, protect the people and you represent the government. So these are all the various stakeholders in this particular case. Uh, now what are the various ethical issues involved in this particular case? First and foremost is the people are worst affected by the landslide and hence the relief of the people. And as a person who is a district magistrate, you should use everything at your disposal to provide relief which also includes the affected women and the child whose life is at risk. So how are you going to protect them? That is a big ethical concern. And then it is your professional responsibility to safeguard the people including the women and professionally you will have to protect her, the baby. But yes, the laws, rules and regulations are saying that you should not uh, use the blood transfusion locally even if the doctors are ready for it. Are you going to follow the rules because it's the right thing to do or you will have to just focus on the end saving her life even if you have to violate or even if you have to deviate from the normal means. That's again basically an ethical concern because there are certain ethical theories which says that the end is very important, but there are certain theories which also says that the means are also equally important as that of the ends. So this puts you in a classic ethical dilemma and this is a basic ethical issue that you have to deal with. It is your duty to protect that particular woman because you are the district magistrate, you are the highest official there. You are the one who has got the most resources at that point of time, but at the same time you can set what is called as a bad precedent when you misuse your rules, when you misuse your authority although the intent may be right. So are you going to take a wrong path with a right intention or you wanted to take a right path and set a right precedent? Because probably if you violate the rules, even to protect the life of the women and the baby, you are setting a bad precedent. And tomorrow your officials may take advantage of this, even if their intention is wrong. All right. So these are all some of the ethical issues and then you have a personal accountability if something goes wrong. Let us assume that you are doing it with the right intention but in the blood transfusion there is an infection then it can affect both the women and the baby and you will be personally accountable for that. But at the same time there is a chance of saving them if everything goes right. So there is a chance of saving the life and there is a risk that you may have to take in the future. So these are all the various things that is running your mind and creating a lot of ethical issues and uh, confusing you in which way to act. So definitely you will have to think of all those things before deciding in this particular case. Alright, so once you think of all those things, now let us try to understand as to what are the various options available to you as being a district magistrate in that particular area. So once you think and then subsequently what are the various actions you can take. In fact, the question is not saying what is the right option. It is only trying you to asking you to say evaluate the various options available to you. That means there can be number of options and each and every options might have something right and something wrong. So ultimately you will have to evaluate the options that is available to you. So these are all the options that is coming to my mind but probably yes you can think about more options. In fact, the classes could be better that provided that you put a lot of options that comes to your mind. 
that will help you to proceed further. All right. So, first option is make arrangements to immediately move her to the nearest hospital and also coordinate with the hospital authorities. This is the best thing that you can do. I would say one of the best thing because what you are trying to do is you are trying to help her as much as possible, trying to rush her to the nearest hospital because there they might have the recognized blood from the banks and then that is the right place to do all those things and it is as per the rules, laws, regulation, everything is right and as a district collector you can immediately coordinate and while the transportation itself even if the blood is not available you can make arrangement for all those things. But the biggest issue here is yes it has got all the advantages. What is the nearest hospital we are not available and the situation is there is a landslide. What about the roadways are they available now we are not aware of all those things and the time delay could cause uh, 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 serious damage sometimes the women might lose their life so that is a thing that you have to keep in your mind so it has got its both advantage and disadvantage to ask the doctors to start the blood transfusion considering the urgency and inform them that they will be responsible for any mishappening that means on the one hand what you are saying is that yes that uh, she is very serious you can start the blood transfusion because the doctors are saying that they can they, they are willing to do that but the doctors are willing to do that only if he is take the district magistrate is willing to take the responsibility but what the district magistrate is saying that you start the thing but if something goes wrong you will be responsible this is not a right decision this is something that he should not do in fact there is a risk and if that risk uh, it is up to the district magistrate to evaluate the thing, the nearest hospital and other variables. And in case if he is taking that risk, he has to take the responsibility. Again, I am not saying it is the right thing to do. But in case if he is doing, considering the other variables, as a district magistrate, he has to take responsibility uh, because it is ultimately his decision to go for it. All right. So, here this option is putting the responsibility upon the doctors is not the right thing and in fact asking the doctors itself may not be right thing but it is subject to the other variables again. Then the third thing is inform the husband to take care of to the nearest hospital as he cannot give personal attention but rather he has to take care of the entire relief operation. This may be in a way it may be something you cannot nobody can find you a, a legally wrong but yes of course you are morally and ethically wrong in this see you have to be empathetic towards a weaker section so under such a circumstances you as a district magistrate if you do not have the resources to do that how can you expect a common man to do this and in front of you there is a pregnant woman and there is a child so it is your responsibility to take care of them as a district magistrate whether you follow the rules or even if you tweak the rules you will have to do the maximum which is at your disposal to protect the life. So, so, this is something that you are not at all taking any initiative. You are disowning your own people. So, again that is not the right thing in this particular thing. Now, what is the last thing that he can do is he can request the doctors to start the blood transfusion and assure them that they will take personal responsibility of the outcome. That means you are requesting the doctors to take the blood or start the blood transfusion and the further procedures and if something goes wrong that you will take the responsibility. So, you are behind them. Again, I am not saying that this is the right thing to do, but it is based on again the given circumstances and situations because the case study is not giving much information with regard to the nearest hospital and all those things. So, uh, depending upon the variable, this may also be the right option and this to some extent also uh, tells you that you are owning responsibility, you are taking responsibility for the decision that you are taking and that is again what is expected from an officer of the level of the district magistrate. So, to that extent is right, but whether to allow for uh, the blood transfusion locally where you are violating the rules, laws uh, and you are also setting a bad precedent. Now, we will be able to assess this depending upon the other variables. So, to me uh, both 1 and 4 may be an option that the district magistrate can exercise depending upon the other variables. Alright, so these are the various options I think in the present circumstances he can exercise. So, with that uh, we are coming to an end. So, you can also put your uh, options in the comment box whether you will choose between 1 and 4. You can put that in the comments or some of the any of the other options that you can think could be used under this present circumstances. Alright, so with that uh, we have come to the end of this particular case study. So, for more case studies you can watch out. Uh, 
uh, for the ethics series on Indian case studies. Uh, thank you very much and also if you want to get important questions with regard to current affairs on a daily basis, you can follow my telegram channel Babu Gunashekaran 337. If you have any questions related to civil service examination preparation, you can also reach out to me through my Instagram account which is also Babu Gunashekaran 337. Thank you very much. All the very best. God bless. Study IQ IS. Ab tayari hui affordable.